All right. Uh, so we're just reading some stories here, and then you guys just determine whether the draft souls or not. Super simple. Always fun, my guy. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do it again. That was fun. All right. Let's turn the music off. <laughs> Am I the asshole for no longer inviting my GF to the escape room with my friends? What? What happened here? My friends and I, 25 male, often go to escape rooms in our city for fun. Like, every two or three weeks or so, at first, it was just us. Then one guy asked if he could invite his GF. We said sure, and she seemed cool. Everything was good. I started dating Beth, 24 female, about seven months ago, and she showed some interest in going to the escape room with us. So I checked in with the other guys and invited her along. And this is where the problem started. All of us, four guys, counting me, plus my friend's GF, are pretty evenly matched when it comes to figuring out the puzzles. We all find it fun to put our heads together and figure it out, but my GF is considerably better at it than the rest of us. Which is great and all, but she started doing all of the puzzles basically by herself. She was having a good time, but the rest of us weren't. We were basically standing there watching her do puzzles while trying to get a solution in edgewise. This happened twice, and then my friend said they didn't really want her there anymore. I asked to talk to her first, and then I told her what they said, and asked if she could just sit back and give us all a chance to solve some of the puzzles too. Then we invited her along again, and it was the same thing. We got to solve the first couple of puzzles together, and then she just stepped in and did the rest herself. My friends were pretty unhappy, and I honestly didn't have a very good time either. She was the only one having any fun. She's still invited to everything else we do, but I told her that we weren't having fun with her doing all the puzzles like that. She's mad at me, and I also don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt her, but I also don't want to forego something that's important to me for a new relationship. Uh, hmm. What do you guys think here? What do you guys think here? You're the asshole? Really? Not the asshole. I feel like I feel like I I feel like he's not the asshole. I feel like he's not the asshole for me personally. Because he talked to her about it. Right? You know what I mean? They talked about it. I think that's a very important thing. Anyway, the poll's up. Everyone go vote in the chat. The poll's up. Um I, I think because he talked to her about it and she still continued doing it. Uh, I think that is case enough to just be like, hey, listen, the guy, like, they're not having fun playing, right? Like, well, you can't force them to have fun. Um, yeah, definitely don't think that they're an asshole for that. What is chat saying? Okay, not the asshole, 103. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what the comments say. Not the asshole, if she's better at it, then tell her to play with other good players. She was making it boring. You're there to have fun, not necessarily to compete. True. Not the asshole. She shouldn't be mad. All right. Not the asshole. All right. Everyone. Okay. Okay. It's good. It's good. Good little first one. Not bad. Not bad. Am I the asshole? I didn't attend my son's wedding. I instead spent the evening with his ex-wife. What? The fuck? There's no way. This person is not an asshole, right? Like off that title. How does this how how does this make sense? I need to read this. Quick backstory. After graduating high school, my son moved three states away for college. At 19, he married a girl he met. I tried convincing him to wait because I personally felt he was too imma immature. They both dropped out and moved back here to his hometown. At 20, they had their first child, a beautiful little girl. 16 months later, my uh what is DIL? Oh, my do oh, 16 months later, my daughter-in-law gave birth to their second child, a little boy. After the first baby, my wife and I noticed our daughter-in-law wasn't happy. We both thought it was PPD related. Just after the second arrived, my son and his wife separated. She would bring the kids over for a visit. It was then she began unloading on us. I know there's two sides to every story, but considering I know my son, I believed her. I sat my son down numerous times to speak with him regarding his marriage. He refused to take responsibility, blamed her for everything, even when I directly pointed out where he was the sole problem. They got into counseling for a year. Things were okay on the surface. Our daughter-in-law filed for divorce. My son, three days later, was on Facebook announcing his new girlfriend. A month later, they were engaged. My son had forced his then wife to become a permanent S-A-H-M. Um, what does that mean? At the birth of their first child. She, of course, had no other family or friends here. Oh, stay-at-home mom. She, okay, okay. So my son had forced 
his then wife to become a permanent stay at home mom at the birth of their first child. She, of course, had no other family or friends here. She knew no no one side wait she knew no one aside from us she had nowhere to go with two small children um unbeknownst to our son my wife and i helped her financially and got her an apartment better uh, before the divorce was even finalized we received the wedding invitation i made it clear to my son i would not be attending and they would not have my blessing his mother told him that wait his mother told him she would see to it that i would attend i stayed consistent in my decision i also asked him not to bring my fiance around to our house out of respect for the mother of his children. The wedding happened on February 11th. The night before, my wife gave me the final uh, the final push. I did not attend. Our daughter also did not attend for the same reasons. My wife picked up our grandkids, got them dressed, and attended the wedding. My daughter and I decided to spend the evening with his ex. I couldn't imagine her sitting alone while her kids attended their father's wedding. She was taken aback that I didn't end up attending his wedding. He took her out to distract her mind. We took her out to distract her mind. I just wanted her to know she'll always be considered family to us. My daughter also made a joke that they can drop the in-law status and just be sisters now. She was very tearfully grateful. I realized just how badly she needed her support and specifically on that night. The next morning, my son called to tell me how much of a horrible father I am for not attending his wedding. A few days later, Man. he caught wind that I spent the wedding evening with his ex. He said that was the ultimate form of betrayal and further myself and his sister would have to earn an I have to earn a relationship with him on his terms only. Wow. Um, huh. What? Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Uh, well, his son is a piece of shit, right? The son is definitely a piece of shit. He is an asshole. Nah, I... I think this is... Mm. Mm. I don't think he's an asshole, but also it doesn't really sit right with me. Huh? I don't know. Like he's not an asshole, but something's wrong. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, like, the son fucked up, but, like, also, kind of dropping your son like that. I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. Yeah, let's check the comments. Let's see what the comments say. Not the asshole. Okay. The best children are the ones you choose. Okay, fair. Not the asshole. This is funny. You have to earn a relationship on his terms. True. I mean, the son is a complete piece of shit. All right. I mean... Seems good. Seems good. I guess there's just not the asshole. I don't know. For some reason, something was kind of off, though. But definitely not the asshole. But something's was, something was off. All right. Next up. Let's see what your guys' votes are. Not the asshole. Okay, okay. I have entered a sexual relationship with my childhood bully's mother. Oh, Sweet fucking justice. It's the most incredible sex I think I'll ever have. God damn it. Dude, this is insane. What? I'm 24 and a male for context. As a young teen, he used to gang up with his friends and bully me for literally no reason. Well, we eventually grew up and school ended, but honestly, the bullying still fucks with me. About two months ago, I recognized his mom at a bar. She's one of those young and hot moms, and I'm not the shy loser I used to be. She doesn't know who I am or what her son did. She was single, and we hit it off. And she came to my place that night, and I fucked her like it was our wedding night. <laughs> even years later, I fucking hate her son so much, and fucking his mom has been incredible. And even though I did this in initially purely for revenge, she's actually a wonderful person. And I want to see where this goes and hopefully at least be able to be civil with him. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> she told me she has a son about my age early on. I wish I knew, obviously. And this week, she asked since we've been together for a couple months and are, and are serious if I wanted to meet him this weekend. I said, sure. We're having dinner Saturday night and I'm equally excited and nervous. I feel bad that this started as 
as petty revenge because she deserves better than that. But the fact is her son's a fucking prick and a loser. I grew up, I got in better shape, and I have a decent job and make good money while he still lives with his mommy and doesn't work. While he's going to be in for a big surprise this weekend. She mentioned she was already uncomfortable that her new boyfriend is his age. But oh man, is he in for a world of hurt. Especially when I eventually become his stepdad. Move into that house and tell him he needs to either get a job or get out. As his stepdad, I won't let him be a burden to his mother anymore. And when he hears how vocal his mom is during sex, he's going to want to move out anyway. Unless he enjoys hearing me breed his mother every night. This weekend is going to be great and I can't wait to see the look on his face. <laughs> Dude, this is like, this is the ultimate form of petty. Holy fuck. Okay, update. Previous post was deleted with no re reason given or notification, so we had to... Okay, so we had the lunch to meet her son yesterday. Oh, boy. <gasps> Wait a minute. Well, I went to her place while he was there for the first time. He knew she was seeing someone younger and didn't like it, and my girlfriend told me it would be awkward, but she didn't know the half of it, uh, half of it, as she also doesn't know he used to bully me in high school. So right as I walked in, I saw him. He looked like shit. Fat, balding, and pasty. He looked like he spent the last 12 years smoking pot and jerking off in his mom's basement, which he has. Dude, this guy is like... An, okay, I understand he got bullied, but like, this guy is actually a dickhead now. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> well, the moment he saw me, I could tell he recognized me. I reached out for a handshake and he said, Hey, I reached out for a handshake and said, Hey, bully, nice to meet you. Well, he didn't react well and started referring to me by my nickname he gave me in high school. And I told him, Oh, it is you. Small world. Sorry, I honestly didn't recognize you at first. I gave his mom a big kiss as a greeting, and he explained, What the hell? His mom got upset and told him to get it together and stop being rude. She was surprised and said, You two went to school together? I said, Yeah, small world. She asked if we were friends, and I said, Not really. I honestly didn't know Bully that well. He was sitting there fuming and actually got up to leave in the middle of lunch. I did small things like put an arm around his mom or a hand on her thigh just to fuck with him, which it clearly did. We had sex that night in her bed, and I made sure to shake the headboard so he could hear. <laughs> I didn't see him the next day, though, but my girlfriend apologized to me for how rude he was, and I said, it's okay. I know he's clearly had a hard time since high school, and seeing someone from that time of his life doing so well would be hard for anyone. Maybe I'll take him out for a beer or something and try to get him out of the house and bond with him a bit. Was she like that? This is going to be fun, guys. Dude, this guy dedicated his entire life to fuck with his bully. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ultimate revenge story. Pulls up. All right, guys, vote. Are they the asshole or not? I would say yes, but that's such a W. It is, but like he's being extremely petty. Like I feel like he's going above and beyond. I wouldn't be surprised if the bully like just like actually did some crazy shit, right? Did she post this on an alt? This is inspiring. <laughs> oh my god. Update please. Holy fuck. This is crazy. Anyway, interesting. Petty, but valid. I guess it depends on the extent of, of the bullying. He's, I, okay, yeah. It's funny because, like, I think he's the asshole, but, like, I, I you know, I don't, I don't disagree with what he's doing kind of thing. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you're an asshole, but, like, you know, I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. It can't be Joel's. Dude says he's 24 and Joel's almost 45. All right.